What's up, YouTube? Angry Jackal of Raw Brick. It is Thursday, October 20th, 2016. There is a lot, a lot, a lot to cover. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. Uh, you know, the debate was last night, final debate between uh, the Don and Hillary. And I thought it was only appropriate. I saw Eminem had a new track that he dropped called Campaign Speech. And I was like, oh, I was very intrigued. I wanted to see what it was. It was 7 minutes, 47 seconds track. And I was like, oh my God, what the fuck is this? It felt more like a fucking... Eminem was channeling in fucking Mike Myers so I married an axe murderer I mean it was like fucking big easy poetry type shit I mean it was like crazy I hope it was something that was live off the cuff that was just recorded and put out but I mean it was fucking I don't know it was kind of cringy kind of weird I, I, I got a link to the audio down below final presidential debate 11 moments the internet went wild for so there's a article I listed down below it has has like little snippet little uh, videos pieces and it, it, it also was pretty fucking... I was like, what the fuck? Are you serious? After Obama attacked Trump today, Trump pulled out his secret weapon and shot back. Oh, fuck. It was... Uh, this is a pretty pretty scathing piece here. Really just kind of slams the president right back. Pretty fucking crazy. It's Russian RT. Team Clinton knows who's to blame for Podesta leaks. Uh, you know, I, I heard Hillary bring that up in the, the uh, debate last night. And I was like, okay, where's your fucking proof? There's no fucking proof. But anyway, there's a, there's a clip right there where RT and some other pieces are all put together to kind of take that to task. U.S. warms overwhelming response to any North Korea use of nukes. So the escalation part, saber rattling going on in North Korea continues. But now we have Kerry coming out, uh, laying down some very serious counterpoint Russia taunts the US with biggest military offensive since the Cold War this is fucking crazy right now the Royal Navy warships are getting ready to escort a group of eight Russian warships including the country's only aircraft carrier as they sail past the UK on their way to the Mediterranean that is a tremendous amount of fucking firepower heading off that direction so it'll be interesting to see how that continues Russia developing Mach 12 hypersonic missiles that would be boosted by new RS-28 Sarmat ICBMSs, and if successful, would overcome U.S. missile defenses. Now, I know that sounds fucking scary and everything, but understand that technology won't be ready for testing until 2020 through 2025, so there's still a ways off. We have much more pressing issues going on right here today, but uh, it's interesting to see, and you know, obviously, with that much time between now and then, obviously, missile defenses will also be increased as well. Russia threatens U.S. with asymmetrical and painful retaliation if tougher sanctions imposed. That's exactly what I'm talking about right there. You know, we've got this continual escalation happening between the U.S. and Russia, and this shit is just not getting any better. And it's, it's, it's starting to affect other destabilized areas in the world, like this one. Philippines, Duterte, and China announce a separation from U.S. There's quotes in this article that says, I announced my separation from the United States, he said to applause at a meeting in China capital. America does not control our lives. Enough bullshit, he added in a rambling speech that flipped between languages. How can you be the most powerful industrial country when you owe China and you're not paying it? Whoa. Okay. Let's see. We <laughs> no, a lot of news today. A lot of news today. Two quake faults in the Bay Area could rupture together, causing major devastation, scientists say. In summary, if the Hayward and the Rogers Creek faults broke simultaneously along their combined 118 miles, they could produce a magnitude 7.4 quake. The whole story is down below. Now let's get on to some really good stuff. I mean, we had a lot of bad shit today, but we have a lot of good stuff too. First look at Nintendo Switch. Holy fuck, guys. This is a game changer for Nintendo. Good fucking job, Nintendo. This shit looks exciting as hell. I can't wait to get it. Um, I think my kids are going to fucking love this. Uh, my only sad thing is this thing's going to drop March 2017, so it's going to miss this Christmas holiday season. But when it does drop, holy fuck, I'm calling it right now. This is going to be something else. The, some, of this, some of this clip is a little cheese dick, but... The technology and the ramifications of it, how it's going to change the way people play games, I think it's going to be fucking great. I, I, I really look forward to it. Now, Logan trailer 
dropped. Holy fuck. So this looks like it's going to be an X-23 origin story. But damn, Wolverine looks jacked. Not in a good way. He looks like he's seen better fucking days. But there's a lot you could get from the clip and figure out what's going on and the way it's going to go. But I'm excited. I'm not sure I like the girl they casted as X-23. I'm pretty sure that's who that is. But I'm like 99.9% .9 sure. But I will reserve final judgment until I can see it. So, yeah, Logan, old man, Wolverine, old man Logan. So you see uh, Xavier and you see uh, Wolverine and who I expect is X-23 and then a bunch of really crazy looking bad guys. All right. So that's anyway, that's it. Uh, I got both the regular trailer link and the red band trailer. I like the red band trailer a little better. They got a really cool scene in there showing wolverine getting down so hope you guys enjoy it anyway that's the news for right now if you like it like it please subscribe tell all your friends far and wide until next time motherfuckers please be good to each other